Hello, how are you fourth year? I hope you are fine. Well, so today uh, we are going to check today is Thursday, yes, uh, the 14th of, oops, yes, the 14th of May, yes, uh, we're going to check the mistake from the covering letter. We are going to, uh, you are going to do a video class, unit 4F, pages 54 and 55. Yes, and the homework is the three minutes video and the oral task, you will have to talk about unit four, yes, and the topic is what makes a job be the perfect one? And you have to use specific vocabulary from page 50, exercises nine and ten, yes? Okay, well, um, mistakes from the covering letter. Joaquin, uh, you did a hand day. Yes, uh, Paula, it was a hundred percent. No mistakes. Perfect. Congratulations. Yes, Tiago, the comma, dear, Polanito, comma, as chief. Yes, experience in working. Yes, in plus ing. Remember, in is a preposition, so the verse goes with goes with ing. Responsible. Yes. Okay, the spelling. Yes, but it was. Quite good, yes. And Camila, you have to send me uh, send your covering letter again because you sent it to me uh, not in PDF. Yes, I need to be I need it to be in PDF so I can uh, correct. Yes, is it clear? If you send me in another format, I can't. Yes, okay, good. Well. So we are going to um, we are going to go to the video, yeah, the video class. Remember, you are going to have a video. But first of all, yes, first of all, I want you to look at page fifty-four. Remember that you always have before you watch, yes, then after you watch, yes, okay. And I want you to describe your picture at home and think about this picture, yes. What do you think about it? If you like, if you would like to be there, yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, um. Good. Okay. Well, so you have um. So you have Everest Tourism, yes, Change Sherpa, Sherpa, Sherpa Lives, yes, okay, so I want you to see this picture, yes, and I want you to have a look, yes, at this, uh, this is the same uh, bag I have, the same color, the same one I have, <laughs> this is by the way, yes, but now I am looking at the picture and I am seeing the same bag. I, I don't have all this, but the, the bag is the same, yes, okay, uh, well, I want you to describe this picture, what do you think about it, would you like to be there, would you like to go to the, the Everest, yes, do, do you like cold weather, do you like hot places, yes, um, why is the area famous for, yes, I want you to think, I want you to think, and say why is the area famous for yes okay um, well so it's famous for yes okay you know uh, in the Himalayas near the Mount Everest yes the area is famous for mountaineering yes you know many people go there yes okay to do because this is a kind of sport. This is a sport, not a kind of a sport, yes? So they go there. So it is famous for mountaineering, yes? Okay, the rucksack, yes? It's a rucksack, yes, because I say a bag. And I was thinking about it, about it when I was um, describing the picture. Yes, okay, do you think Everest tourism, tourism is a good thing or a bad thing? Yes, why? Okay, I want you to think about it. Yes, good things, work, money, 
for maintaining a way of life and bad things yes uh, too many outside influences yes changing traditional way of life you will see there he explained and you know there are many people that go there are many people that go mountaineering there in the Everest so uh, he says that uh, he explains in the video that okay it's okay because um, it's good for uh, working for the money for everything yes but they come a lot of outside influences yes so of course when you have uh, people from other places your um, your way of living uh, your traditions will change maybe not a lot but a bit and little by little yes okay well um, I want you to look at the video yes at home yes okay this could be the video you will have at home because I always send you a video the Shuba are one of 70 ethnic groups that live in Nepal and they migrated over from Tibet their their name means Easterners so they came over the mountains and they settled the higher regions of the Himalayas and just by chance of living where they have, they've become connected to mountain climbing. The Sherpa culture fundamentally changed in 1953, 60 years ago, when Tenzing Norgay and Sir Edmund Hillary climbed Everest. And at this point, it went from their very rural, idyllic lifestyle to one being in a the Sherpa are one of 70 ethnic groups within Nepal, and they migrated over from Tibet. Their, their name means Easterners, so they came over the mountains and they settled the higher regions of the Himalayas. And just by chance of living where they have, they've become connected to mountain climbing. The Sherpa culture fundamentally changed in 1953, 60 years ago, when Tenzing Norgay and Sir Edmund Hillary climbed Everest. And at this point, it went from their very rural, idyllic lifestyle to one being in the 20th century and now the 21st century. Okay, so they have a, a, a way of living, yes? It's very rural, yes? But then it changed yes okay more to the 20th century yes so look at the way how uh, they used to live but now it's like they are modern yes more modern than in the past and you know then you will listen that one of them say that the only thing he is worried about is about global warming yes why because there is it isn't snowing as it should be there in the mountains, yes, so he's very worried about that. You know? They learned something very, very, very normal. It's normal for us to say the time. Yes, you know, using those watches, he say. Yes, they started to, to, to tell the time. Yes, to know, yes, how to say the time. Within the span of three to four generations, they've gone from a very much agrarian, pastoral, society with with few things that we take for granted to a society now that has is connected with mobile phones and the internet and jet travel and interaction you know now they are connected to this to planes yes uh to cell phones but in the past no it was una uh, una sociedad rural yes a rural society uh, shepherds yeah okay Too many more 
the changes that I saw just in the last 10 years were pretty substantial. As far as what people told me they had seen as far as change, um, education was a big one. Um, healthcare, there's a dentist there, uh, there's medical clinics, um, the clothing is better. Con no, the clothing is better, yes, medical service is better, education is better, yes, so, well, you will see it at home, yes, okay, you will see it at home quietly, yes, and uh, now is the time that you will um, pause the video, watch the video and then listen to the answers i'm going to uh, say the answers yes okay good well i will send this video to you but it's very interesting i wanted to do some parts so you know about the before seeing the video okay good well there we are we have a guest today the soldier have you seen him Yes, okay. It, it's for you. Um, it's for you. Yeah, so you don't miss the soldier that is in the class. Okay, good. Uh, well, number two, well, what number three? Income, lifestyle, wealth, substantial. Yes, okay. Expedition and agrarian yes okay we live in an agrarian society and mainly keep sheep and cows yes that's what i wanted to say yes okay good exercise um this is was 3a okay 3b sorry 3b okay number two yes okay Okay, let's go to exercise five. There we are. One D, two C, three A, and four B. Yes, okay. Let's go to exercise six. One G, two G. Yes. Okay, 3G, 4G, 5L and 6L, okay? How did they learn to learn the time? How did uh, Sherpas learn to tell the time? What was the only thing Kancha Sherpa worried about? Yes, I told you, it wasn't a spoiler, yeah? Uh, what did Max Lowy um, say people are losing? They are identity, maybe, maybe. Yes, okay. When Hillary submitted uh, Everest, he gave the Sherpas watches as a bonus. His only worry is global warming. It doesn't snow much on the mountain. People are losing their ability to focus on true happiness. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I say that uh, they are de identity. Yes, but it's inside their identity. Yes, because you know um, they start ha they started having uh, many things that they didn't have. Yes, so in the past, as they didn't have all the things, you know, watches, uh, uh, planes, uh, the money. Yes, for their work. Um, you know, uh, they focus more on their, um, on their feelings, on their emotions, yes, okay, on happiness. But now they are losing this ability, yeah. Do you know, do you think that this happens to us nowadays? Nowadays that we are losing uh, our ability to focus on happiness, on real happiness, yes, no on material things yeah because you know for me i think for you is the same uh, material things are not it's not to be happy yes okay it doesn't mean happiness yes so i think the same happens uh, to them 
Yes, okay, number nine, the internet makes the world smaller a smaller place. We know what is happening in the world. We can communicate with people everywhere. Industrialization, people moving to the city, lots of products are available. Yes, destruction of nature, natural, natural habitats, pollution. Okay, it has some advantages and some disadvantages, you know. They have access to all the th these things that they didn't have in the past. Yes, for example, watches, um, flights, um, you know, uh, phones, cell phones. They can communicate. They know that communication can ex exist. Yes, can be... Um, um, it's available, yes, okay? Large scale road, rail system, people traveling, people moving to live to different places, new ideas coming, yes, coming into remote remote places. Uh, you know, the air travel is cheaper, yes, okay? So, you know, when you are in a place that is um, like in isolation, like living in an island, you know, you don't, you don't have contact with other people from other places. You are there, you know that the, the truth is there, inside the island, for example. But when some people from other places start coming, yes, they start to come, you start to see other realities. Yes, they tell you, okay, did you know that cell phone, there is a thing that makes uh, communication possible when you are here and the person, another person is in another part of the world. Okay, oh my God, we didn't know that here. Yes, so that's why, that is why I say that you have to travel. You have to know the world, yes? The world is not only there where you live. Yes, okay, so see other cultures, see how other people work, work how other people uh, live, yes? And, okay, you will have other points of view, yes? But in this case, yes, okay, the big, for me, the big, uh, one of the biggest um, disadvantages, yes, was that were, that uh, they were losing their ability to find happiness in simple things, yes? And it tends, it's a pity, it's sad, but it tends to happen, yes? Okay, well, uh, I, I'm looking at my watch because I control the time that I have to talk, and yes, okay, okay, yeah, because then I talk and talk and talk, good. Well, this is the thing that you have to talk about this video. Remember, it's not seeing a video, watching a video, but it's to see the message inside the video, all right? Good. Well, that was all the correction, yes, okay? Um, I want you to highlight the words there in exercise uh, nine. The internet, large scale road, la la la, cheaper air travel, yeah? Ethnic groups, yes, okay? Idyllic, idyllic, sorry, idyllic, yes? Self gain, yes? Okay, well, um, and I want you to concentrate on the video, but, but, in the video, in the three minutes video that you have the oral tag, because you know, after each unit, you have the evalu evaluation, yes, from uh, the grammar and the writing. Paula, um, the, thank you for telling us about the, um, the wrong, um, the wrong document, yes, the thing is that, there were many other courses that we were putting on in the classroom, many documents, and okay, there was a mistake there. Thank you for telling us. And um, the letter from the exam was okay because it was it was also a covering letter because the covering letter was um, the the topic from the writing in unit four. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, so as I was saying, that is an oral task, you know, you are evaluated in the written part, in the grammar, and in the writing. And then, after the unit, you know that the three minutes video comes. Okay, and you say, what makes a job the perfect? Be the perfect one. And you have to use vocabulary. 
from page 50 from page 50 yes specific vocabulary from 9 and 10 long hours pay holiday page holiday pay rises flexi time promotion overtime pension scheme clocking on and off yes free languages classes health insurance insurance uh, wages part-time yes okay and I want you to describe in the next three minutes video what makes for you a job be the per perfect one what do you imagine uh, a good salary yes a good office yes uh, a good boss yes do you think a boss can be a good can be good Make yourself all these questions, yes? Good salary, um, uh, flexible, flexible, working flexible hours, working from home, yes? Uh, what things makes the job be the perfect job, yes? Um, well, I want you to think about it, yes? How many hours would you like to work? Where would you like to work? How, in what condition, in what, in what conditions, yes? In what conditions, and no conditioner. <laughs> in what condition, conditions would you like to work? And why, yes? And, well, think about it and tell me, yes? I will wait for your video, okay? Bye-bye, happy weekend, see you next class, okay? Bye-bye, fourth year.